So this is next property of generating function of uh, Lagrange polynomial. Show that p n of uh, sorry p n of two n plus one of zero equal to zero or p n of zero two n equal to minus one whole power n two n factorial divided by two power two n into n factorial whole square. Or else we can arrange these two properties. Uh, like this pn of 0 is equal to 0 if n is odd pn of uh, 0 equal to some value minus 1 whole power n divided by 2 divided by 2 power n n by 2 factorial whole square if n is even so we need to prove these two properties using generating function of uh, Lagrange so this is our generating function 1 minus 2x t plus t square whole power minus 1 divided by 2 equal to sum n equal to 0 to infinity t power n p n of x this is equation number put x equal to 0 in first equation then you will get here the p n of 0 uh, 1 plus t square whole power minus 1 divided by 2 then I arrange this equation 1 minus minus of minus uh, uh, t square whole power minus 1 divided by 2. And I extend this one by using this formula 1 minus uh, x uh, whole inverse formula uh, 1 plus 1 divided by 2 minus t square plus 1 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2 plus 2 factorial minus t whole square t square whole square plus and so on this is our end term 1 3 uh, 5 7 and so on 2n minus 1 divided by 2 4 here the 2 this is 1 factorial this 2 factorial 4 factor like this 2 4 6 and so on 2r denominator value then this is our uh, nth term equation So clearly, if you observe clearly here, Pn of 0 t power n equal to this one. This is our nth term. If you substitute n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, you will get these terms, right? So therefore, uh, this equation is clearly show that that even power of uh, t occurs in uh, right hand side of the equation number 2. Uh, the equation, the coefficients t power 2n plus 1 is odd and the power of t on both sides equation number 2 is we will get uh, uh, pn of 0 2 power n is equal to 0 uh, pn of 0 equal to 0 if n is odd this equation okay now the equating the coefficient of uh, t power 2n terms on both sides here the t power 2n okay on both sides side so if i compare here the t power 2n is there this one t power 2n term so not 2n t power n this one okay this is not 2 here this is uh, only Okay. Yeah. T power n on both sides. You will get this T power n. Here also T power n is there. So apart from T power n, here the minus uh, one whole power n also there. Here both sides. Then if you just one minute. Yeah. So then you will get Pn of 0 equal to this function. Then simplify this one is I extend this uh, 2 power n factor list like this. n power 2, 4, 6 and so on to n plus 1 term here. 
because uh, I write in here the two power n term numerator and denominator also I extend two, four, six, and so on two power n term. So here two power n term is not there. So numerator denominator I am going to use two power n term. So this is our two power n term. This is our two power n term. So this two power n term uh, just I extend two, four, six, and so on two power n. Sorry, two n term. Then this is our two n factorial term. Okay. Then in case if you observe this one 2 4 6 and so on 2n we can write this one 2 power 2n into n factorial so which is why i use 2 power n n factorial in place of 2 4 6 and so on 2n term then i got this equation okay minus 1 whole power n 2n factorial divided by 2 power n n factorial 2 power n n factorial so i arrange this equation pn of 0 equal to minus 1 whole power n 2n factorial this is 2 power 2n n factorial and n factorial n factorial square n factorial square so this is our uh, of second property okay now replace uh, by n divided by 2 you will get easily this term next property is show that p n of uh, 1 prime equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and the second important property p n of minus 1 prime equal to minus 1 whole power the n minus 1 n into n plus 1 divided by 2 all these properties are very very important okay so if you want to solve these two properties uh, please go and use the uh, Lagrange differential equation p n of x solution so this is our uh, Lagrange differential equation so this is our double derivative this is single derivative this is without derivative right so in place of uh, d square by divided by dx square here i am using uh, pn of x double prime double prime indicates uh, double derivative this is single prime this is without derivative now uh, simply use this x equal to zero this x equal to zero Sorry, x equal to 1 in this equation so first term is going to 0 second term minus 2 into uh, pn of uh, 1 prime plus n into n plus 1 pn of 1 exactly this one then rearrange this one so you will get a uh, pn of 1 prime equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 pn of 1 we already know pn of 1 is equal to we already prove this one so if you use this formula you will get this answer second property put x equal to minus 1 in equation number 1 you will get this term and uh, we know that pn of minus 1 equal to minus 1 whole power n this is also one of the property so we already solve all these properties so so use this property in pn of minus 1 equal to minus 1 whole power 1 so exactly i replaced uh, here the pn of minus 1 by minus 1 whole power n value and then so if you look at here the minus 1 here is there here also minus 1 whole power n then i use the uh, minus 1 whole power n plus 1 term uh, minus i mean uh, pn of minus 1 prime equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 whole power n minus 1 here n plus 1 is there here n minus 1 is there so this is also the odd property so minus 1 whole power n plus 1 i replace this one minus 1 n minus 1 if you want to prove these properties please go and check uh, um, generating function of pn of x so 
pn of minus uh, pn of uh, one value pn of minus one value then you will easily get these uh, properties okay 